On June 11th, 1997, four hours into a scheduled flight from Tokyo to Sydney, three men burst into the cockpit. They claimed to be Taliban militia, a militant Sunni Muslim organization that had gained control of southern Afghanistan the year before. After swiftly executing my two co-pilots, they ordered me to fly the plane to Kabul, the capital of Afghanistan. They had placed Jelagnite, a high explosive, in strategic positions around the aircraft. Unless I fulfilled their demands, they would blow up the aircraft. It would take about eight hours from our current position to reach Kabul, so I suggested a short stop off at Bangkok to refuel. Thirty minutes from Bangkok, I briefly fell asleep setting the aircraft into a steep 64 degree descent. We had descended to approximately 11,000 feet before I was awoken. Now the terrorists had been taking cocaine, a drug derived from coca which is an American shrub. They forced me to take some of this stimulant in order to stay awake and it was then that I formulated a plan of action. I landed the aircraft and as she was being refueled a familiar face appeared at the window. Good evening Mr Fidge, my old friend Charlie. For many years he would give me half a kilo of pure heroin to deliver to a friend in Torquay a resort situated in South Devon, England. As we took off, I switched my heroin for the terrorist cocaine. Now heroin is derived from morphine, a narcotic drug which is derived from opium that is often used to relieve pain, and morphine gets its name from the Latin word Morpheus, the god of sleep. When two of the terrorists returned, they ingested vast quantities of pure heroin, and within seconds they had passed out. Five minutes later, the leader returned, and upon seeing his men asleep, let off a round from his hand pistol in a foolish act of male bravado. The bullet hit the cockpit window, which started to crack, so I tightened my seatbelt. A process called decompression occurs once the pressurized skin of the plane is pierced, similar to a child drinking milk through a straw, where the air pressure in the mouth is lower than the air pressure outside the mouth, thus forcing the milk up through the straw into the mouth. On an aircraft, this can often produce fatal results, as my friend found out. <laughs> I took the plane to a safe height and decided that I would take my passengers to Sydney. My chief stewardess, Diane Falcon, appeared at the door. She had found a large sack of cocaine at the back of the plane. I switched on the autopilot function and the two of us unwound in my cockpit for the remaining ten hours to Sydney. Upon arrival, I was given a reception fit for a head of state. Good afternoon, my name is Captain Brian Finch, I hope you have enjoyed this flight, and on behalf of our company, thank you for flying with us.